Hi, this is Bruce Sullivan with Sullivan Roof Cleaning. Uh, I wanted to talk to the uh, Cedar Shake homeowners that have your wood roofs. And I get a lot of calls from homeowners that are uh, uh, frustrated because they're not getting the lifespan out of the roof that they felt they should get. And the real reason for that is, is the installation of it. Years ago, Cedar Shake roofs used to be uh, installed with a lat construction where there was a spacing between lats all the way up the roof and then they would lay the shingle down and what that allowed for was air to get up under and keep them dry well of course today and I'm going to use this as a simulation uh, everything's done with it like a decking you lay the decking up on the roof and then they put this felt or the water barrier and then what they'll do is go ahead and they'll lay the shakes right on top of that well there's a flaw in this installation this is not the proper way to install a cedar shake roof the cedar shake roof needs to breathe and what you have to have between this felt which is the water barrier and your shakes is this right here it's called cedar breather what this does is when you lay this laminate on top of the felt it allows for a spacing in between the roof decking felt and the shingles so that they can get air and they can dry out because cedar shakes on their own will not decay it takes moisture and some type of infestation if you, these shakes can dry out they'll last their full potential lifespan depending on the grade of the shake it could be a hundred years uh, and if you maintain them of course then even more so and that's the problem that homeowners today are having because once they went to the decking of roofs and then they started using the felt then they put the sh shakes on top of it they didn't allow for any breathing for them to dry out cedar shakes expand and contract with the weather they need to breathe and they need to be dried out because if you're not having any kind of barrier or any kind of way for air to get under here what have you got you've got a shake up against the flat surface where moisture is going to get up under there but it's not going to be able to dry out because why? Air can't get in there. Once you put this cedar breather, and this material is designed specifically for that, once you put that in between there, now you have a space for air to get in and dry the shake out. These things will last three times longer if they're installed properly. And that's the problem we have today with a lot of roofers. They're not using the right installation uh, process to put a cedar shake roof on. You know, it, they come out and they talk about you have a bad roof. Well, one of the reasons your shakes aren't lasting as long as they are is because of the way they were installed in the first place. So uh, I just wanted to give you this little bit of information. And you probably have more so a need to maintain your roof now than ever because you've got to try to get all that infestation and get that moisture to dry out. But if you did have this barrier, this cedar breather barrier between your felt and your shakes, your roof would last much, much longer. Yes, you would still have to maintain it, but you wouldn't have to maintain it as frequently because they would dry out on their own and wouldn't retain the infestations that they retain over a period of time when they're in this condition and they can't dry out. So anyway, I just wanted to take a few minutes to explain that there is more to this process that meets the eye in that roofers today are not using the proper process and the one important ingredient that they're not or element they're not putting in the installation is the cedar breather so if you're going to have a cedar roof put on and I highly recommend a cedar roof because it's one of the best roofing materials out there both for ambient air, air temperature being retained in your house whether it's cooling or heating but they have a very long lifespan they'll last you know tens and tens and tens of years 60 70 80 100 years again depending on what they are but make sure that they put the cedar breather on when they install your roof or you're just going to run into the same problem you're only going to end up getting 25 30 years 20 25 30 years out of a 90 100 year roof and that's all i wanted to do today was explain that so it's called cedar breather you can google it on uh, google just put in cedar breather and it'll come up and it'll explain what it is. So that's Bruce Sullivan with Sullivan Roof Cleaning, your cedar shake roof cleaner. 
throughout the whole Midwest. We're based out in Des Moines, Iowa. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll answer as many of the questions as I can. Thank you and have a nice day.